Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what symbol is used for parameterization in Cucumber? Let me answer this for you. We use a symbol known as less than and greater than symbol in parameterization in Cucumber. Let me practically demonstrate that, okay? So along with this symbol, okay, this symbol is not enough for parameterization in Cucumber. Along with this symbol, we also have to use some keywords from Gherkin language, that is scenario outline keyword and examples. Along with these two keywords, we are going to use the symbol less than greater than symbol for implementing the parameterization, that is data-driven kind of testing in Cucumber. Let me practically demonstrate this so that you'll understand it more better way. So I'll switch to this. Eclipse ID where we have this project under SRC test Java under the test package. I'm right clicking here and uh, creating a new file. I'll name this as login dot feature. Okay, login dot feature. It is a login dot feature file. Okay, click on finish. The feature file will be created. So it's uh, created and some default content is coming. I'll, re I'll just remove this content and I'll freshly write the stuff. I'll use a keyword known as feature keyword. I'll say login functionality. I'll just take one scenario. In this example, I am going to create only one scenario. Uh, but in real time, you can have multiple scenarios created under a single feature file. But uh, for this case, just for a demonstration of that parameterization thing, I'll only write down one scenario for you. That is, uh, I'll say login with the uh, valid credentials. Okay. Here I'll write down given I navigate to login page. When I enter valid email address, okay, say here I have to give less than and greater than symbols. Okay, this is a symbol we use in parameterization. So I enter valid email address, say here I'll say email and uh, valid password, say. Password. So either you can write them in separate lines or uh, other. Uh, let me write them in separate lines instead of uh, providing email and password in same line, which is uh, making this statement a bit lengthy. So I'll say I enter valid email address, say email into the email field, and I enter valid password, say password into the password field. So here we have to use less than and greater than symbol for parameterization. And I click on login button. Then what should happen? Then I should get successfully logged in. These are the steps I have written, scenario steps. And uh, here, since I have Right, I'm I'm uh, trying to parameterize with the help of this less than and greater than symbol. So here, instead of scenario, I have to write down scenario outline. And also, if there is scenario outline at the end of the scenario outline or scenario, we have to provide this examples keyword. And now, write five symbols. And here, copy this email. So from examples thing, we are going to pass the data to the email and password. Okay multiple sets of data you can pass to this email password based on how many sets of data that are there in this example this scenario is going to run that many number of times this is called as parameterization or data driven testing whatever you call and here this password under this just press tabs just give some spaces and all here give some email a1 at the rate gmail.com and here I'll say one pass, sample password I'm giving. Here I'll say a2 at the rate gmail.com. Two pass. Here I'll say a3 at the rate gmail.com. Three pass. Like this. Okay. So three sets of data I have given. And this data will be passed to this email and password. Okay. So there is scenario outline examples. Under the examples, we have multiple sets of data. And in the steps, 
wherever we need multiple sets of data to be passed from examples to these particular steps, we have surrounded that with less than and greater than symbol. This is the format we have to write. Now, let's auto-generate the step definition methods for this particular scenario. So for that, I'll copy this and uh, I'll go to a browser and search for tidy gherkin. And you should get this tidy gherkin from Google Chrome extensions. And you'll be taken here to tidy gherkin where you'll see add to Chrome, click on add to Chrome. This plugin will be added to the Chrome browser. Click on add to Chrome, say add app. You see it got added here. When tomorrow, if you need to open this extension, you can go to this Chrome colon double slash apps and then select this, okay? Open anyway. And now, whatever you have written here, this scenario, copy that entire scenario and paste it here. And now say Java steps here. It will generate the step definition methods for you. Copy all these step definition methods. And now right click under the same package and create a new, uh, new uh, say class and uh, name that as login. Click on finish. And under that login class, you paste the methods you created for the Mozan given and import this. Already the libraries for Cucumber, everything is added. So we are able to do so. And in place of given, I'm just having the asterisk symbol. And uh, here I'll remove this statement. Rows also I'm going to remove. And instead I'm going to write a simple print statement saying system.out.println write uh, I navigated to login page. Okay, if this, if this method is executed, then this statement should be printed with uh, greater than greater than symbols. Okay, just to identify whether these are print statements or not, I'm just adding the symbols. Otherwise, that's not required. This step is very important. I'll tell you why. Okay. As you can see here, this step is implementing, this step is implementing this statement in the scenario. That is, I enter valid email address, say email, okay? having this less than and greater than symbol thing for parameterization. In that case, in place of email, what is coming? You see, circular brackets dot plus. That means it can receive any type of value, okay? From here, whatever the data, it can be any type of data that is passed from email, okay? This data will be going to email and email will be passing that to this uh, step definition method to this particular part. And this part will go into the email, okay? that you're going to utilize in this method. Okay, system.out.println. Uh, I entered valid email address plus whatever the email that you entered, this parameter into the email field. Like this, I'm writing the code. The email field. That's it. That is also done. Now, next thing. Next step is this one. Remove this part. It's not required. In this step is not required. Here for I enter the valid password also. Here also there is a parameterization thing with less than greater than symbol. In that place, you are getting, you are receiving the data in this any data you can receive, and that will be passed to this parameter of this method. So we have automatically generated all this stuff with the help of ID again. Otherwise, you can write it manually. Okay, you can observe this like how you are going to write uh, and uh, you can write it. That's also fine. And here write down system.out.println. I enter valid password plus this parameter value I'll be printing into the password field. After that, I click on the login button will be there. It's very simple. System.out.println. I click on login button. And finally, this step. I got, I got successfully logged in. 
like this, I'll be writing the implementation of these methods. Okay. I'll be implementing this method, step definition methods. Now let's see whether this is working or not. This scenario should run how many times? It runs the number of times the sets of data are there. Here three sets of data are there. So this scenario is going to run three times. Okay. Every time it runs, this particular email will go into email, first set of data, go into the email, first set of password will go into this password, and this scenario will run for the one time. The second time when the scenario runs, this this email will go into this email, this password will go into this password, and the scenario will run for the second time. In third run, this email will go into email, this password will go into password, and scenario will run for the third time. Okay, right click on this and say run as cucumber feature, say okay. Okay, scenario, scenario, scenario. Okay, three scenarios. Email. When uh, you see the print statements also got printed when I enter the email kind of thing and password, I enter the valid password, one pass. Okay, the data is also coming. A two eight the red gmail dot com, two pass is the password. A three eight the red gmail dot com, three pass. You see the same scenario got run three times. So this is called as a, this is how we can implement data driven testing in uh, Cucumber BDD or we can also call that as parameterization okay in Cucumber BDD and for that we have to use the symbols known as less than greater than symbols okay in the steps and uh, along with the symbols we have to use the Gherkin uh, language keywords that is scenario out instead of scenario we have to use scenario outline otherwise it's not going to work and along with the scenario outline we have to use one more Gherkin language keyword examples okay. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.